What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Quante. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the post notification button and it will let you know when I have a video posted. So, I'm clocking in from work, as you guessed it. Monday through Friday, corporate baddie. Today, you see, I'm being a little festive. Chose to participate with the co-workers. Everyone's wearing Santa hats or ugly Christmas sweater. I'm happy about the weekend. I'm excited about it. Like, I'm not sure what I have planned this weekend, but I'm going to do something. Thinking about going hiking Saturday morning, and I think you guys would enjoy that. Griffith Park, it has a beautiful view. It's a nice, easy hike, and I don't know if I want to do it full out, or just like do a little casual walk and talk. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Monday, I think I'm going to go see The Color Purple. I'm going to take myself out to dinner. My family, they live in Phoenix, Arizona, but they are traveling to Louisiana to go take care of some stuff with the house and taxes and some other business. I am going to be in California alone. Enrique is way in New Jersey. We'll be talking on FaceTime for sure. I'm thinking about taking myself to my favorite restaurant. I'm not a gatekeeper, so I'm going to share with you my favorite restaurant. Uh, it's called La Boheme. It's in West Hollywood. It's like a mm, French-American infused type restaurant. My favorite is the fried chicken wings. It has like this garlic aioli soy sauce. I also love the Wagyu spaghetti. It's like truffle spaghetti like with truffle alfredo sauce and wagyu meatballs so good and then they have a good um spicy margarita that i get i hope they're open on christmas i need to verify that it's a cool vibe i like to sit outside they have like lights they have the heaters um most of the times i sit by the fire pit so i'm pretty much known over there i go there pretty often that's about it. Well, since I have you guys here right now, let's just talk about the self-love tip of the day. Oh, this is a good one. I say this about everyone, but <laughs> never hold yourself back from pursuing your passions and lifelong dreams. Mm, mm, mm. That's one right there because I have been struggling about what my passion really is. And when I think about a passion, I think about something that you can do every day and be happy about it and it doesn't feel like work. So as many of you know, I am a registered nurse and for most registered nurses, it has to be a passion to do it. I do have a passion to help people, but I'm not 100% sure nursing is the arena in which I'm supposed to help people. A lot of times I get very frustrated when i was in the icu it was really overwhelming but even in this clinic it's still like frustrating because i want to provide a certain help to patients but you know sometimes i have employees that don't share the same passion that i have so it gets a little difficult trying to get on the same page with patients employees and then what I have envisioned for the job. It is a, it's a task. It's gonna take time. Sometimes I'm really not that patient. When it comes to passions, I think about doing YouTube. I think about acting. I think about entertaining. I think about being an entrepreneur. Those things I feel like I can wake up and do every day and just feel fulfillment. That's what I'm working towards. I'm working towards stepping away from nursing. I love the money, I love the patients, but at the same time, I don't think it aligns with what I believe passion is. It's gonna take time, I'm aware. It's been a struggle to find out what my passion really is, and I really do wholeheartedly feel like it is being an entertainer of sorts. I'm not 100% sure if that's being an actor, if that's being a speaker, if that's being a full-time YouTuber, if that's owning my own nonprofit, like those are the type of things that are coming to mind when I think about my passions. Do not hold yourself back from pursuing what you think your passion is. I know it is hard because 
we have to do some things that financially set us up. A lot of times passions don't really seem to do that. It's more so about happiness more than money. When you do something that you love, you find a way to make it work. That's what's gonna happen for me. I'm going to find what I wanna do every day and it's gonna pay out because I'm gonna be able to put all my energy into it, like genuine energy. <sighs> We're gonna figure it out, guys. Having all these new subscribers and seeing all these positive affirmations and positive comments, it lets me know that I'm on the right journey. I'm on the right I'm on the right path to figuring out what exactly makes me happy and what I want to do with my life so that I can impact the lives of others. That's really my passion, to impact the lives of others by living my life. I go through things just like many people, maybe not as much as other people, but I'm just aware of the learning process that it takes to learn how to improve your life and how to find this happiness that we all deserve. So yeah, that's that's about it. That's all I have for right now for the self-love tip of the day. I am going to lunch soon. I'm not sure. Oh, I brought spaghetti. So I'm going to eat spaghetti, turkey meat spaghetti. I have enough for about two more days. and. I warmed it up and I had it in the office and it was like, oh my God, that smells good because that is seasoned turkey meat spaghetti. Uh, after work, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I've been thinking about making more to-do lists so that I just like know what I need to do and what I want to do. This weekend is going to be, it's gonna be productive. I'm gonna make sure it's productive. All right. See you shortly. How do y'all feel about eating alone? I feel like I have been eating alone for a long time. Like especially like in college, I would just go sit at a table, eat my food, be alone with my thoughts, enjoy my food. I don't feel weird being alone while I eat. I probably look crazy talking to this camera alone while I eat. What's up guys? Checking in, I am off work and it feels so good to be in the weekend, baby. The security guard that works at my job, he was giving out gifts. I was like, wow, okay. Santa Claus really is a black man. Show y'all what he got me. Leave it to me to drop it. Check it out. Okay. I don't know how he know I like it. Bruh. <laughs> if I drop one more thing. Some more. Got some wine. What is this? Some um, Carbonate Sauvignon. And a Bel Air. So my homie asked me to go out tonight. I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat. I might get comfortable. And the next thing you know, Z's. Z, 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 Z. What's good, guys? Oh, my God. I know I probably look a mess. I just woke up. Last night, I went out. For the first time since October and I didn't get in until maybe 3 30 4 o'clock I used to not get hangovers but now well it's still not totally bad but I do have a headache I took some ibuprofen drank some water I'm about to eat some breakfast but I had plans on waking up early to go hiking but I think it's gonna be a midday hike at this point. Last night was fun though. I went to the addition. It was a good time. I enjoyed myself, honestly. I just feel so tired. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? I am currently at Griffith Park. I'm going for a hike. 
I told myself like this weekend I just cannot sit in the house and do nothing I wanted to get out get some fresh air get some exercise in so that's what I'm gonna do so here I am at Griffith Park it is a little colder than I thought it would be that's why I brought this long sleeve shirt but I also have shorts on and I wish I would have wore some pants but I think I'll be fine once I start to like warm up it's kind of packed today uh, there's like not much parking but I'm pretty sure the the course is gonna be fine I brought some water some sunflower seed Gatorade for after um, this is a Powerade not a Gatorade yeah this should be fun I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to like talk while I'm out there because the wind and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like really noisy I don't have my audio set up just yet I have the little fuzzy thing but I don't think that's enough to stop the sound of that gushing wind it looks so dark okay What's up everyone I'm just checking in I think the wind is not too bad so the audio should be good I think this was a perfect time to stop in and drop you off a self-love tip of the day and as soon as I start talking I can feel the wind blowing so hopefully it's not too bad the self-love tip of the day is to surround yourself with positive people and good vibes listen surrounding is so beautiful out here Sorry guys, I got distracted by the beauty. But what I was saying was, whenever you surround yourself with positive people and good vibes, it makes the world of a difference. This season of my life, I have kind of secluded myself away from things that I, were, I was doing back then. I feel like those things I was doing, it caused a turmoil in my heart. I knew it wasn't right and I just tried to say everything I could to make it feel like it was right, but I knew it wasn't. So in this season, as I kind of just like focus on all positive things and good vibes, it makes me feel like at peace. I was into a lot of things that I should not have been into. I'm not saying that those things are just like completely wrong and that no one should do them. I'm not going to be like discreet about it, but like drugs, sex, all that good jazz. It's not wrong, but for some people and 
how they were raised and how they think it is wrong i think i'm one of those people that was raised i was raised i was raised pretty good i grew up in a catholic church so i grew up with like morals i grew up you know really disciplined about my spiritual life it just wasn't aligning for me everything is about me when it comes to my self-love and my journey i'm not comparing myself to anyone else and their journey and what they think is right what they think is wrong me so you should do the same whatever doesn't feel right to you you should make the decision to stop or to, to improve so that's my spiel what's up guys i am back home after my hike i took a shower i even got myself some pizza because i had been craving pizza so now i'm just gonna relax we're gonna watch candy cane lane on amazon prime i'll let you guys know how that is uh yeah so i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here my name is dequante thank you for watching if you have not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe hit the post notification button it'll let you know if i have a video posted leave a like leave a comment it is all greatly appreciated <sighs> feels good to just relax and sit down and wind down for the night so we have some pizza and wings yes i got pepperoni i know i say i don't eat pork and beef but i was craving and moderation it's fine we got enrique tell the people what's up what's up people What's yeah. up, all the new subscribers? Yeah. So <laughs> Thank you, baby. So, all right. That's it. See you guys later.